uh, when the president says, we will hunt you down and make you pay, what does that look like? Is he going to order a mission to kill the people responsible, or would he be satisfied if they are captured and brought to trial? Uh, I think he made clear yesterday that he does not want them to live on the earth anymore. Uh, okay. And as the, as the U.S. is coordinating with the Taliban about security for the next couple days, uh, some of the people running security for the Taliban in Kabul are terrorists with millions of dollars worth of bounties on their heads. Are we going to try to bring those known terrorists to justice before we leave the country? Peter, I think our focus right now is on doing everything we can to get the remaining American citizens who want to depart out of the country, to get our Afghan partners out of the country. As I just said in response to Phil's question, this is uh, not a preferred relationship or uh, a situation that we would have designed if we had started from scratch. I think that's very clear. But right now, we need to continue to coordinate. Uh, that's our focus for the next couple of days. And the last one, you said that you think we're going to have a great deal of leverage over the Taliban after we leave. You think we're going to have more leverage with no troops on the ground in Afghanistan than we do with thousands of troops on the ground in Afghanistan? Well, to be clear, one of the steps that the President directed his Secretary of State to take, which was in my statement this morning, was to engage with our international partners to determine what the path forward looks like. And there are key components here. The Taliban are going to want a functioning airport. So do we. Uh, there's an enormous amount of economic leverage that the global community has. Uh, that's something we need to work with our international partners on. As we have more to update you on, we will update you on it.